Greetings, everyone. Pete Pardo here from Sea Tranquility. Welcome to another episode of What's Hot with Sea Tranquility as we hit Wednesday once again here on the channel. New release day. We've got a really interesting one here for you today. This is a new kind of archival release from, if you guys remember, early 90s. The kind of like uh, really cool, interesting progressive metal band that kind of hit the scene called Damn the Machine. Remember them? Right? They had their self-titled debut, which came out in 1993 on uh a m records and then they kind of disappeared off the face of the earth well they uh the band in over the last year year and a half have uh gotten a hold of all of their demo recordings and they've released uh two cds or maybe on vinyl too as well of uh, all of their demo recordings taken from like 1991 and 1994 the first release that came out was called day one came out in 2021 the new one now is called the last man there you have it right there. All right. Interesting cover, right? Ten tracks. Again, these are some... Uh, let's see here. Take out the booklet for you. You might recall this was the band that was formed by Chris Poland. Of course, a uh, guitar player from Megadeth. Those first couple of Megadeth albums, right? There's Chris there. We've got the lyrics, pictures from the studio and whatnot here. Okay, let me tell you who's all in the band here at this point for these recordings. Of course, Chris Poland on guitars, uh, bass and backing vocals, Dave Randy, drums, Mark Poland, and vocals and second guitars, Dave Judson Clemens. Okay, so basically, once again, uh, these are original demo recordings. Um, again, trying to describe the music of damn the machine kind of interesting because they, they arrived in like 93 uh with their debut album and you know of course dream theater was also breaking pretty break big at the time but while i think that dream theater had a uh a very challenging you know sound musically they were also very very accessible lots of hooks and things like that not so much with damn the machine i don't i never found any of their music overly kind of commercial or accessible sounding musically though pretty damn good stuff um and they had a whole bunch of songs that they recorded during this time period uh, some which were meant to be on a second album some of the early recordings uh, they used a few of them for the actual self-titled debut uh, and some just kind of never saw the light of day so now here we've got um 10 more Okay, on top of the ones that are on the day one release. Um, you know, I find this pretty interesting because, A, first of all, they do sound like demos. All right, but you can hear all the kind of really great qualities of this band front and center throughout these songs. You know, the, the guitar work is, is excellent. Really, really good. Uh, you know, the Damn the Machine were never all about letting Poland, you know, shred. It really wasn't what they were all about. They were definitely more song-based, but uh, very, very complex time signatures and arrangements. Not overly kind of catchy to the ear, at least on first listen, some of this stuff. I also i am not crazy about uh, the way the drums are mixed on the recording. Drums are really loud and clanky. Finely played, of course. Um, but I don't really like the way they sound on this, and apparently these demos have been you know, cleaned up and remastered and whatnot, but I still don't like the drum sound. Uh, I also am not a big fan of the, the vocals on some of these tracks. Uh, again, they do sound very unrefined. Uh, they are demos, I totally understand that. But I find that um, his vocals are... He's really straining at times to hit certain high notes on a few songs. Um, and Mr. Clemens, I think, is not a bad singer at all. I think his voice always fits the music pretty good. Um, but man, you know, on some tracks like The Final Amendment, uh, Legend Maker, and even uh, A Brighter Day, uh, there's a couple others where I, I think he sounds fine in the songs, but when he's trying to go the high route, uh, he just sounds really straining. And to me, it just kind of takes things back a bit and ruins some of these songs for me a little bit. Um, that being said, you know, I do understand that these are, uh, you know, meant to be kind of like stuff from the vaults, curiosities from the band. This is nowhere near as polished as what we heard on their debut album. And that's, that's totally fine. But there's some great stuff on here. Great stuff on here. Um, 
you know, Man vs. So Much More is excellent. Menial War is a great tune. And I actually like, uh, you know, Welcome the Red. There's some, I like the chorus on that one. Heaven's Gate is cool. The Final Amendment. Some of these songs are actually really good songs. Uh, they just, I don't know, just to me, the, the, the presentation here, um, I would have liked to have heard these worked on a little bit more and, you know, really professionally gone in and recorded um, because I think that it would have helped on the drum sound and on the vocals a bit because I think the songs are there, you know. So, but, uh, you know, if, if you're checking this out all for Chris Poland and you want to hear him just to ripping it up, he does do it on, on in spots on here, but I think, uh, you know, his first solo album, definitely you can hear him doing that. Of course, those early Megadeth albums, he does lots of lots of wailing on that. And, uh, you know, if you haven't heard his band Ohm, Jazz Fusion Band, that's another place you can go and check out some great Chris, Chris Poland guitar work. But definitely some good stuff on here. So I think if you want to get the entire Damn the Machine picture, definitely go out and see if you can find their self-titled debut, all right? The only official album they ever released. Uh, and then if you want to hear like kind of everything else, go seek out Day One from 2021 and The Last Man here. Because I think it gives you the, the overall picture of what this band was all about. Uh, I don't recommend you maybe getting this first. All right. I think you, you need to hear the self-titled debut first because that is, I think, the way they wanted their music presented. I think the band is pretty stoked that they've been able to release all this other stuff, you know, now all these years later because I think the band probably has lots of, uh, you know, they wish they would have continued longer and their time, you know, with us was, was so short. So I think uh, this kind of like finishes out the Damn the Machine story. And I think that they're pretty happy about that. And I, and I would agree. It was the right thing to do. Uh, but as a first step into Damn the Machine, this is probably not your best bet. I, I would give this, based on, uh, you know, the the production values and, and everything, it's just that the mix is a little weird. Um, but I really like the songs on here. So I'm going to give this a three out of five. All right. Very solid. But go check it out. Let, you know, make your own decision on that. The Last Man from Damn the Machine. Good stuff, good songs, good guitar playing, you know, just, I don't know, vocals and drums and spots just don't really do it for me, but uh, not overall, though, it's, it's, there's fine stuff here, it's fine, it's, like I said, not quite as polished, not quite as, like, the ultimate official final product that their debut album was, but uh, to get uh, all, all the story, all the demos, all that, get these two, two releases, and uh, you got the whole picture. So thanks for watching. Visit us on the web at www.seatranquility.org. We're on Facebook. We're on YouTube. All together. All the damn time. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already. And click on that notification bell so you get alerted of all of our content as a post. Please also hit that like button. Very, very important. And uh, if you want to make a channel donation, we've got the link to our Ko-Fi page below. As well as our merch page. We can get all sorts of great Sea of Tranquility shirts, hats, hoodies, caps, stickers, coffee mugs. All sorts of cool stuff. We've added a lot more new things recently. So go check that out. And uh, we'll see you real soon here on the channel with some more stuff, right? So uh, stay tuned. I am Pete Pardo. Bye-bye.